Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask him to guide us to the right path. We have, welcome to Noor Abdullah. I hope you can hear me and you can see the slide uh, as well by typing number one, which means that you are fine. Hi Noor, good afternoon, good afternoon. And we should say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have a final revision for using two infinitive form or ing form and as we said at the beginning so we have now a final revision one for lesson 40 this lesson has been prepared by Mr. Turki Al Fifi and I am Abdullah Shahrani we will try to to help you with when should I use the infinitive form and an ing form there are many goals for this class the first one the students be able to remember the past tenses and we have a lot of things to to do also how to use the infinitive form and what is the difference and when should I use the ing the ing can you can you hear me Noor now? Can you hear me? Okay, great. Okay, great. Clearly. Okay. Clearly, by the way, clearly this is the word clearly. Okay. It's at end with with Y. I don't know if I Okay, clear. This is the word clear. Then clearly. Oh, this is in Arabic. Sorry. Clearly, this is the word that we are looking for. Okay, so let's start now. We will give a few minutes before starting, but we almost the time to, to start now. We reach the time to, to start. So sometimes we need to decide whether to use a verb in its to infinitive form, like to do, to go, to cock, to sing. Or uh, the second one, uh, or is in its ing form, like for the word dying and singing. Like for example, now I'm gonna write it here. Okay, sometimes we need to decide whether. To use a verb and it's the first of one number one we call it number one sorry two infinitive to infinitive form like for example the word sorry to go to cock and etc or number two ing form like the word going and cocking so here is the idea of this class so sometimes we need to decide whether to use a fair minutes to infinitive form let me underline infinitive form to infinite form or ing form so uh, we will go now uh, to the slides to show you which should I use the infinitive form 
and the nice G4. So infinitives and I in G form, as uh, uh, our colleague prepared this lesson for us, I enjoyed preparing for read. I enjoyed preparing for read. We have two verbs, two verbs. Enjoy the first one, and the second one prepare. So we should add an ing to the second verb. So what is gerund? Gerund is the base verb, like prepare. This is the the base verb, uh, prepare. This is the verb one. When we want to add ing, should we should remove the letter e and add ing. So I enjoyed preparing for read. Gerund equals the base verb, the verb one, and ing. So to let you make it easy for you, base verb is verb one. Verb one. I like to make a special cake for this occasion. The infinitive. The infinitive is two plus base verb. Two plus base verb. So now we just talk about the gerund and infinitive. What is gerund? So the gerund is adding ing to the verb, and the infinitive is followed or uh, it's preceded by the preposition to. Welcome to Maram Al Ghamdi. I hope you can hear me and you can see the slide as well clearly. By typing number one, it means that you are okay. We just started. When should I use infinitive and ing for? Hello, Maram Al Ghamdi. Can you hear me? And seeing the slide as well. Hello, yes. Hello, Maram. This is the word hello, okay. So we just talk about sometimes we need to decide whether to use a verb and it's infinitive to plus the infinitive form, like for the word to go and to cock, and ing form, which is like, for example, going and cocking. And here is the first one, the infinitive uses. When should I use the infinitive? The first one to express purposes. Like, for example, he put some flowers to give to his wife. So th there is a purpose for that. So I'm going to write it here. For example, he put some flowers to give to his wife. Okay, so this is an example now. So the first one for the infinitive use here to give because to express the purposes. So we use the infinitive, the first one, to express purposes. And here is an example. The second one, after it, plus P, plus an adjective. P, what is P, Maram or Noor? What is P? What is B? Verb to be, great, Noor. Good job, Noor. Great. Thank you, Noor. It's a verb to be, like as, am, so verb to be. Verb to be, like uh, am, is. Verb to be, like am, is, and are. So after, after it, plus P, B which is is, it is, it was, this is in past. Then the adjective. Adjective like what? Like nice, stupid. So we have to use an, infin an infinitive form in this example. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to teach you, Noor and Maram. 
it was stupid to talk to you. So we use an infinitive form. This is the second one. After it plus P plus an adjective. Okay? Number three. Number three. After the first, second, last, first, and etc., we should use two. We should use the infinitive. We should use the infinitive. After certain adjectives like afraid, surprised, free, happy, read, sorry, and etc. So we should use also uh, infinitive, infinitive form, two plus infinitive form. After two and enough, two and enough. Like for example, the water the water was too cold to swim in. So here we can. So after two and enough we can we have to use what? An infinitive to infinitive form to infinitive form so the uses of infinitive we have a lot of things as we mentioned before we have after uh, adjectives after it plus p plus an adjective and also to express purposes like to answer why like for example he put some flower he put some flowers why to give to his wife so we should add the word here to answer, let me try to answer, to answer why, to answer why, okay, let me now move to the second slide, also we use to infinitive for after certain verbs, so after a third, after a third, agree, appear, decide, forget, we have to use the word, we have to use two infinitive form. Like for example, I, I'm going to choose, hope also, learn, manage, need, offer, plan, promise, refuse, see, tent, want, would do like, uh, etc. Okay, I'm going to give you now an example, and please, Maram and Noor, try to give me another example. Like, for example, I forgot, I forgot to close the window. Let me write, to type it here, I forgot to close the window. We use here the infinitive to infinitive form because of the word what? Forgot. I just choose it from these verbs. Okay, now waiting for you to give me another example. Please give me another example using afford, agree, appear, decide, hope, learn, manage, need, promise, refuse, seems, want, would you like? Okay, you can use the word learn, like the verb learn, like example. I'm waiting for you because it check your understanding of this class. Please try. We are here to help you. Noor, Maram. Okay, no, I come here to learn English. Wallahi, you are doing great. Bravo, bravo, awesome, super. I like the senses. So I come, but don't forget to capitalize the first letter. Come here also, learn English or should be in, in capital. Wallahi, you are doing fantastic. No. You are doing great, Noor. 
and you deserve this star. Oh, why you are uh, not happy? Because I just try to correct these mistakes to to stick in your mind. So, uh, okay, so I agree to help you. I agree with my past to help you. I offer you to leave. Like, we cannot afford to take a long holiday. We can write this sentence also. We can, sorry, we cannot afford to take a long holiday. This is another sentence using one of these verbs. So after certain verbs, we have to use uh, two infinitive form. After the objects of certain verbs, advise, allow, encourage, invite, elders, pers persuade, teach, tell, etc. So we have to use an infinitive form. After question word, how, which is start with H, or WH questions, how, what, when, where, etc. What to do with this thing. Also, after such a noun, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a chance to go. It's a chance to, to leave. After some and any, no, and their compounds, we use the infinitive for. Example for infinitive forms. We need examples. Can you think of? Waiting for you, Noor and Maram Gandhi. Can you think of uh, another example? Yes, just use an infinitive forms. I'm going to help you with the first one. I will help you with the first one. Let me try to type it here first. Like for example, I went to the post office to post send post some Letters. So this is the first one. I need you to do the second one, please. Just choose one of these. Waiting for you, Noor. Maram. I don't know what to cook. Allah, you are doing great. Good job. I don't know. What to cock? I don't know what what to cock for. Welcome back, my guests. Welcome back, uh, Maram. But I'm waiting for you to give me. Uh, another sentence using an infinitive form. Can you think of? Can you try? Or another sentence from you. Uh, waiting for you, uh, Maram and Noor. Okay, uh, what is the verb? Noor, I didn't. Oh, I make some cakes to eat. Wallahi, I'm going to accept it. I'll make you something to to eat. Wallahi, you are doing great. I will make, sorry, make some cakes to eat. Wallahi, you are doing great. It's, it's a big star for you. Thank you, 
and it's going to be appreciated. And I will show you now the next slide. We have a lot of answers here about the infinitive. Like, for example, the first one, Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk uh, uh, on, the, on the moon. Here is an infinitive. Uh, I went to the post office to boast. It was great to see you. At last he was free to do, to go. Ahmed is too tired to go jogging today. I hope to see you again soon. And it was Glenn who persuaded me to apply for this job. So here is an infinitive. I don't know what to do. This is your examples, Noor. It was a great pleasure to, me to meet you. And I'll make you, let me try now, to, after the verb pleasure, I'll make you for now pleasure. And I'll make you something to eat. He doesn't have a, anywhere to stay. So here we have an infinitive. An infinitive. <coughs> an infinitive form. Two plus an infinitive form. Now we will go and move to an ING forms. Before we going to the next slide. Is it clear for you, Maram uh, and uh, Noor? Okay, Noor, it's okay. What about you, Maram? Okay, great. Now with an ING, when I should use the ING form? The first one as a noun, subject or object of a verb. Like, for example, I'm going to give you this one. Okay, like the verb is swim. I like swimming, so I'm going to mention it here. So here is a verb. So as a noun, I'll make it a noun by saying swimming is, is good exercise. So here we move it to I don't know if it's clear for you, but let me jump it here. It's going to be better. So swimming is is good exercise. So as a noun, we change it into an ing an ing form. The second one after the verb go, in, indicating physical activities, like for example, go swimming. Go fishing. I will go fishing. Go swimming. Okay, so there is a physical activities. After certain verbs, avoid, enjoy, finish, like, love, hate, imagine, keep, brisk, spend, spend time, suggest, consider, etc. After certain expressions, like be interested in, I'm interested in cocking. I'm interested in writing. I'm interested in learning English. Also, can't stand, don't mind. I don't mind going with you. How about going to? It's not use. It's not good. Cooking outside in this weather. So after these uh, search expression, we use an ing form. Also, after prepositions. What are the prepositions? Like for about, without, and etc. So after these things, we use an ing form. We use an ing form. Let's have now examples for joint forms. I need you to give me an example. I'm going to start with the first one. Uh, like, for example, they, let's start with they, like, example, left, school, without, they left their school, without, 
saying goodbye. Like for example, we have they le they left their school without saying goodbye. Okay, I need you now to give me a, a, an example using an ING. Can you think of or try? Can you think of? It's an easy one. Just use a, an ING form. Smoking is a... <laughs> okay, well, you are doing great. Good job. Good job, Noor. It's really appreciated. Great, great, good job. Smoking is bad habit. Okay, great. Like another example. Can you think of another example? I can say also in English. It star did raining started raining it's very simple it started raining I look forward to meeting you after the prepositions so when the word is a subject of a clause we can use an ing after prepositions we should use an ing after certain verbs like avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, give up, mind, practice, like for example, I dislike getting up early. I'm going to also write this one. It's going to be good. Like for example, I dislike getting up early. So this is another another sentence. Okay, great. Good job. Let's now move to the next slide, Noor and Maram. And here we have the uh, exercises for, or the answer slides for what we have just asked you to do. You can look at it and check it. Exercising is good way of keeping fit. We often go finishing in the summer. Martin suggested going to Lebanese restaurants on Friday. And it's not used trying to do everything yourself. Ask Ethan for help. I'm so excited about I'm so excited about going to university next year. And we will move now to choose the correct answer, A, B, or C, or D. Imagine that you have now your final, and you will come call with this kind of questions. So, Noor and um, Maram al Ghamidi, uh, try to take your notes. I'm going to uh, open the mic. And I will give you the pen to answer the whole questions about choosing the correct answer with a two. Choose it. An infinitive form or a gerund or gerund form. So infinitive and an ing form. So let's start with the first one. I'm sorry, but I'm not willing any money in the stock market. According to what you have just learned, what is the answer? Which letter? Is it an A or B or C? Is it an infinite? Oh, Allah, you are fine. No, great. Good job, Noor. So the answer is, let me change the color. No, it's red. I'm going to put this one. So the answer is to risk. This is the answer, C. And you did fine. Great, good job. Number two, avoid. It's, uh, I avoid junk food as much as possible, number two. What do you think about number two? 
Is it an eating? Is it to eat, eat or eating? What do you think? Avoid. Can you think of? Letter P which is eating. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you. Lord Abdullah. Wallah, you are doing fine. Your English is going to be great. You most welcome. You are welcome. Number three, welcome to Nadal Jabri. I hope you can hear me and you can see the slide as well. We just talk about when should I use the ING form and the infinitive form. By typing number one, it means you can hear me clearly. Welcome to Mada Jabiri. Hello, Mada. Can you hear me? Okay, so we are reaching now number three. It was really nice of you, my graduation. I don't expect it. Whether is it uh, having remembered or or to remember, or remember, or remembering. What do you think? What do you think, uh, Noor Abdullah and Mad al -Jabiri? Is it an A, or B, or C, or D? What do you think? Noor Abdullah, she chose she chose C to remember. What about you, Mada? She said it was really nice of you to remember my graduation. She used the infinitive form, and this is absolutely right. She chose number C, and C is a great and a good, a good choice. Wallahi, I, I, I accept that you are doing great. Awesome. Okay, number four. It is not used to. It is it's not used me about the incident because I wasn't. I wasn't here. Because it wasn't here. Is it an asking, ask, to ask, or to asking? What do you think, Metal Jabiri? Or no? Number four. Welcome to Amir al -Yala. I hope you can hear me and you can see the slide as well. By typing number one that you are okay. What do you think about the, the fourth one? What do you think? Oh, you are late, but what can we do? You can see the the, the rest of the class is recorded, but we're going to sum up, inshallah, with the, at the end. So, number, number four, it is not used. What, what do you think? It is not used asking or to ask. Is it an A or C? I'm, I'm going to divide it to you. Yes, Nada, you are raising your hand. Do you want to say something? B. You said B. To... Uh, ask, okay, just an ask. Okay, good, good try. I'm gonna accept it. Uh, I'm gonna accept your your effort, Mada. But the answer is asking. The answer is asking because it's a gerund. Number four, a gerund asking because no use. We have to use a gerund an ing for. It's okay. Great. No worries. Inshallah, you will do the next uh, correctly. Number five, unfortunately, I don't remember. There is a verb. What should come after the verb remember? Here, you before. To meet or meeting? Is it an A or C? To minimize the answers, the choices. Is it an A or C? 
what do you think? Is it an A or C? Noor, she said, unfortunately, I don't remember meeting you before. What do you think, Mada or Amir? What do you think? Amir al Yala, he said, also meeting you before. I'm Mada al Jabiri, and both of you are okay and fine. Great. You deserve this star, yes. This is the answer. Number six, the rubber was made to or confess, confess or confessing or to confess or to confessing where he had hidden the money. What do you think? Is it A or P, C, D? Number six. The rubber was made to confess or convincing P or C. What about you, Amir, Ali Ala B, Madal Jabri C, and the answer is, is C. The answer is, or the correct choice is, See, doing well. Bravo. Thank you to you all. Number seven. Uh, please stop. Stop. To shout. A. B. Shout. C. Having shouted. B. Shouting. It's really annoying. Yeah, we just mentioned this example. Oh, Lord D which is shouting. Uh, do you agree with Noor, uh, Mada and Amir? A, which is to shout, is an infinitive form. Okay, great, but we have certain verbs. We should use an ing after stop. Please stop shouting. This is the answer, and thank you to you all. So we appreciate it, but the answer is, is D. Great, good job. Number eight, the policeman demand his driving license. Is it to C, A, or C, C, or B, C, and having C? What do you think about it? To see from Amir al Yala, Madal Jabiri, A, what about you, Noor? Noor Abdullah, A, Madal Jabiri, C, to see. The policeman demanded, to be honest, the answer is A, according to what I have just listened and explain to. To see, we should use an infinitive form after certain verbs and demand one of these verbs. The last one, the last one, I'm gonna give you a chance to look at it. What do you think? Is it Fatima can't help, can't help crying? cries, to cry, and cry, just to cry. Mada, you choose D, a crying, and this is absolutely right. This is the answer for number, number nine, crying, and this is for you, Mada al Chapiri. Allah, you are doing great, and we have the answer slides now starting from one to nine to show you your choices. Great. Thank you all for participating. This is the summary of our classes. We just talk about the infinitive and gerund, it defines the using forms of gerund and infinitives, and we do some exercises. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to revise what we have just explained. First of all, 
Sometimes you need to decide whether to use a verb in its to an infinitive form, like for example, to go, to cock, and ing form, going or cocking. And we talked about when should I use to, which is an infinitive, like for example, to express purposes, to answer why, like for example, we bought some flowers to give it to his wife. We just mentioned that about before. And also, after certain verb, we have to use to, like for example, uh, like uh, the infinitive form we use after adjectives, for example, disappointed, glad, happy, pleased, sad, surprised, like for example, I was happy to help you, uh, and also we mentioned like, for example, your coffee was too hot to drink, and many, many, many verbs, many adjectives, sorry, we have to use an I in, or two infinitive form. The second one, after certain verbs, for example, forget, help, learn, teach, train, choose, hope, need, offer, we should use to infinitive form. And like for example, I forgot to close the windows. And we use an ing form when the word is the subject of the clause. Like for example, swimming is good exercise. Uh, and uh, Noor mentioned, mentioned the Victor says that smoking is bad for for you. And after prepositions, like for example, I left without saying goodbye when I left my home. And after searching verbs, avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish. I dislike getting up early. So this is for our class about when Sometimes we need to decide whether to use a verb in its two infinitive form, like for example, to go and to cook, and an ing form, going and cooking. Thank you all for joining the class. Thank you to you, Noor Abdullah, Mad al Jabiri, Tumi Dwayne, Amir Al Yala, and I hope all of you be well and see you inshallah tomorrow. At the same time, we have a class about using other and others and the other. For now, I should say good luck and be good at your final and I wish you a terrific day. Thank you. Inshallah, Tommy Green. Any questions before leaving? Thank you so much. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Noor. Thank you, Mada Al Jabiri. And uh, Mada, please, if you wanted to say something, please in English, because we are an English uh, class. Oh, you don't know how to use English, Mada. We can uh, explain everything in easy English, not a very really hard one, difficult one, but it's an easy English. So try, and we are here to help you. You are welcome, Samir al -Yala. and we will see you inshallah tomorrow. Madal Jabari, just join. Drus is a great opportunity to you all to practice your English. So just join English classes. We will speak easy English, not a very hard one. So inshallah, by time, you will get it. Even Allah, you will get it. Hopefully. So we are here to help you. And this class this will be recorded as usual, so just a few minute things, and if you have any questions, you can do by the tool free Twitter account, question ask and technical support. All the rights are cop all copyrights are reserved for Tatweer. And we will 
you are most welcome. And this is the end of our class. Wish you a terrific night. See you and have a good, a good day. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك you are welcome مدى نور thank you so much أمير and Tommy and be well في أمان الله آه.